again now we got a new scan with our velocity and so we're going to show that here and it is now basically just off to the west of the Herrick area right now so we have seen this now scan uh, we get a scan every couple minutes. This is now moving very fast off to our northeast at 60 miles per hour. So if again, if you live in the Herrick area, you need to be in your safe spot right now because this is got a very, very strong rotation signature with it. That velocity is that cup with there is very concerning to look at. And so um, this is definitely going to be a one to watch. And with the new velocity scan that we just got, Kevin, we may have maybe a new coefficient correlation coefficient um, scan that just yes. came in? Yep. Do, and do. Um, okay. it's, it's not good. Um, okay. yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back over here. We have got confirmed tornado, and this is not what I like to see, and it is this blue color here, and I'm gonna point it out, so we're, we're gonna take it full here. Um, there it is. We have debris that is currently being lofted into the air right now from a tornado. Uh, just to the west of Herrick, just to the west of Herrick, there is a tornado right now and it is doing damage. Right there it is, okay? This is the highest level of concern that we have. This is the real deal. This is not just radar indicated, okay? We have got something right here that's currently doing damage on the Fayette Shelby County line right near the Herrick area. We need you to take shelter. Those places that, that Jack was just talking about. And let's kind of look down the line here because here's Lakewood, okay? We're gonna have Lakewood and we're gonna have the Calden areas here that are kind of next in line, okay? Lakewood, Calden. You guys need to be taking shelter. The rotation is right here near Herrick. It has done damage somewhere along here. So down the line between Lakewood and Calden, you need to be taking shelter. Uh, that's going to be right there along Highway 128. So 128 that kind of comes out there west of Shelbyville is what that is. You need to be taking shelter. Right now, this is a very strong tornado that is rain wrapped and is lofting debris into the air as we speak. Uh, this storm is right on the Shelby and Fayette County line. It has, again, very strong radar indications of rotation where those all those colors are coming together there. That's the rotation. That is the radar. That is uh, being able to pick up the different direction that the winds are going, and they're doing so in a counterclockwise direction, which shows us rotation from a tornado. And then we co-locate that with a very apparent tornado debris signature and there it is. The debris is now kind of getting spread out even more. So this has hit something and has lofted some debris into the air. We potentially still have a tornado on the ground. Uh, if, if we're looking at uh, the radar there, that's gonna be just to the north of Herrick where that is occurring. So I'm gonna switch over here to, uh, to my other radar because I wanna take you right down in on exactly where this is. Uh, near Herrick. We'll switch over to the velocity, throw on some of those uh, roads there. We're going to take off all of the boxes here that talk about the different warnings and uh, just kind of show you guys what we've got in terms of where that is and with the rotation. So that's Herrick. We get down there. You got County Highway, that's uh, 13 there. County Road 3300. And as you work your way to the north and to the east, to give you an idea, we talked about 128 there out of Cowden, but if you are there, that is County Highway 15, 15 uh, and 900 and east. Nine, and, uh, yeah, 900 east, that thing's lifting right to the north and east of you there between Herrick and Cowden. Very strong rotation on this. Tornado debris lofted into the air. Serious situation taking shape here right now. It's 9.32 p.m. and we've got a tornado on the ground just west of Herrick, uh, passing probably just now to the north of Herrick. And moving to the northeast, Highway 120, if you're between Lakewood and the Cowden area, between Lakewood and Cowden on 128 into portions of Shelby County, you need to be taking shelter right now. You literally have uh, just a few minutes here um, before that storm is going to be on top of you. Uh, so just a few minutes before that storm is there. So definitely be taking shelter. Jack, uh, a scary situation unfolding here. Yes, tonight. yes it is, it is. We're gonna get those warnings here in just a moment. We just got some new ones I wanna pass along to you and as it kinda cleaned up, the National Weather Service has kinda cleaned up some of the other warnings. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning for Ford, Iroquois, Livingston counties. Radar indicated 60 mile per hour winds. Let me turn on my regular radar. 
and um, that's got some strong winds with that due to a couple line segments there. Again, that goes until 10:15. It has winds of 60 miles per hour, and that is moving off to our, um, checking to see where that is, um, moving off to the east at around 50 miles an hour. Then we have a severe thunderstorm warning that goes still until 945 for DeWitt, Macon, McLean, and Pike counties uh, for 60 mile per hour winds. A newer severe thunderstorm warning, the one that we've been kind of watching that does include portions of that tornado warning. Uh, that one is for Christian, Macon, Moultrie, and Shelby counties until 1015. That one has the tornado possible tag along with it. But again, it's the southern county, the southern warning that we have for now Shelby County until 1015, the confirmed tornado warning. And it's moving very quickly here. Very quick. our, our velocity has been um, really showing this thing with each and every scan moving fairly fast uh, with each scan, moving multiple miles. I mean, it's got warnings for 60 miles an hour. We just got the new update with our velocity there, and it's it's still there. It's uh, it's it's west of, just west of uh, Cowden, north of, east of Herrick, west of Cowden, south of Lakewood. Yep. Got to be crossing 128 in the next uh, few minutes. If few it, minutes. Uh, if it hasn't already, it, it is literally right there, um, that storm. Um, we're going to be going to Jacob Dickey here in just a second. Um, we're, so we're going to be talking to him because he is coming into the Windsor area. So and he's, so he's going to be just northeast of this yep. here before too long. But see this right? See these reds and blues kind of right there? This is your rotation. That is the tornado. Oops, sorry about that. That is your tornado that is right there uh, that is also lined up with our tornado debris signature where we've got debris. You can see this fallout. Look at this fallout here. See this blue color that's up here? Okay, this is fallout of debris from earlier. Right now, the tornado is right here, okay, and is throwing debris out ahead of it. Okay, uh, this is a strong tornado. Here's your rotation on it. It is between Lakewood and it is Cowden, and there it is, rain-wrapped tornado. And I want to show you again. Here's Windsor that's up here. And we've got meteorologist Jacob Dickey that is up here in Windsor, and he's probably going to shoot south towards the Strasburg Stewartson area. Jacob, what are you seeing out there? What's your location? Hey, Kevin, I just am north of Windsor, a couple of miles, just crossed into Shelby County. I am picking up some lightning off to the uh, south and west of me. And so we're seeing some out there. We're too far away to make out any sort of power flashes or anything like that. That's the great thing about radar on a night like tonight. I'll show you the view right now here as we head south. We're heading south. Uh, in fact, my warning alerts are going off in the car now. Uh, we're heading to the south now here into Windsor and are going to make it to Strasburg. I'm about 9.7 miles out of Strasburg. And so we'll be there and watching this very closely. I want to mention, we're talking a lot about Shelby County. I also want to mention Coles County, Mattoon and Charleston, especially EIU campus. If you've got folks that are in school there or in Mattoon, Charleston, Coles County, we've got to start thinking further downstream from that too. And an option I may take is moving back to the east towards Neoga to make sure I stay in front of this thing. A bit of an ominous signature on radar here as we're moving to the south. We're hoping to bring you a view, and if not, we'll be safe and do so. But we're going to look for damage afterwards and show you what this storm means. We see it on radar, but we want to make sure that you know how bad it is. So we're going to watch and move south here in a safe manner, get in front of the storm. Uh, reporting the storm tracker about 10 miles or so from the community of Strasburg. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Back to you in the studio. Okay, Jacob, thanks. Um, here's the thing. Uh, things are starting to get really active here. I th believe we just got a new severe thunderstorm warning. That includes Champaign County. Jack, is yep. that right? Yep, I've got it up here. So we've got it for Champaign, Pyatt, and Vermilion Counties. Um, at 1015 is when this one expires, too. So we're going to have a lot of warnings that expire around 10, 1015. So it's going to be very interesting to see how these all play into effect here. These still have radar-indicated winds of 60 miles per hour. Hail really has not been much of an issue, but we have multiple lines now within this um, just kind of mess of rain and storms, and there's enough 
still with the radar to be picking up on some of these stronger winds on it. So that's why there is still a uh, threat for some strong winds with it. Severe thunderstorm warning for Champaign, Pyatt, Vermilion counties. That goes until 1015. We won't forget about you guys, but definitely we are keeping more of a closer eye out on that uh, southern storm with the tornado warning because uh, the velocity still looks good with that one. But again, some strong winds will be expected essentially along and north of I-74 for many locations right now. We'll keep it on mind. We'll take a uh, We'll just take Max one full screen here as Kevin's getting some information from Bryce. Uh, we do have, like I said, still looking at the main threat, though, with that southern storm to be the tornado warning there. It still looks very good with our velocity. Uh, we have the inbound and outbound winds showing that rotation couplet there. And also now, too, which I have not seen with this one, and we can, uh, we can pull me back up now. Um, what you'll see with this one is that uh, we have threat considerable, Kevin. So we've not seen that on any storms, at least that I've seen in our viewing area just yet. There was this tag with some storms uh, for tornado warnings in the St. Louis area, but now we have a considerable threat for our tornado warning in southern Shelby County. Kevin, over to you. Okay, a uh, lot going on here, yeah. uh, Jack. Uh, several counties with severe thunderstorm warnings associated uh, with this line. We just talked about all of them. Here, here's what I want to do. Really strong storm there uh, near southeast of Mount Zion, Dalton City. May even have some hail in there. We're watching that, but let's go back to the storm of highest concern right now, and that's the one here in Shelby County. There's still a very, very tight couplet there that's showing up between Lakewood and Cowden, and there's still a little bit of a debris signature there as well. Even debris that is, is getting kind of lofted and spreading out from the initial um, debris signature where the tornado would be. This would be from debris further um, south and west when that tornado uh, was doing damage. And so that's what that kind of blue color is, but there's still, and, there, and there's the update there. Yeah. So they updated scan. Because when, when, the, when the debris tracker doesn't exactly match up with where you think it needs to be, mm -hmm. that's because <laughs> it's being blown yeah. far away from the actual uh, center of circulation, which is just shows that it is a strong tornado that is most likely on the ground. Okay, uh, tornado signature in Shelby County is very strong, indicating a strong tornado is on the ground. That just came from the National Weather Service. Um, I, I want to I want to make mention of, of, of something else here too. Um, supposedly, southwest of the Edwardsville area. We talked about this earlier, but uh, the storm that was down near Edwardsville, that's closer to the St. Louis area, that supposedly there was um, an Amazon warehouse that was hit, and there are uh, multiple people that are trapped. Oh, wow. That was, uh, that was again, near the, um, yeah, I believe the Edwardsville area earlier, an Amazon warehouse, that's again, close to the St. Louis area, where uh, roof collapsed, at the Amazon warehouse, and there are multiple people that are are trapped at this time. So that it just kind of gives you the, you know, the premise for just how bad this is, and uh, you know how these storms are really dangerous here uh, tonight. So we're watching all of this here. We're watching. Uh, still that rotation there uh, has passed through uh, between Lakewood and the Calden area. We still have that rotation that is showing up. Uh, maybe even a few different areas of rotation that are showing up here along this, and so. Uh, it's it's going to be a long night here. We've still got several more hours of this, and then we've got the storms all the way up here into Champaign County um, that are, are still really packing a punch. And so, and then looks like there's another yeah. warning down there. Yeah, and that's what I wanted to show is that there is now a new tornado warning coming out of the St. Louis area, which now goes back into Macoupin County. So after they just got done with tornado warnings in Macoupin County not that long ago, uh, we have a new storm that has formed and is now producing a um, has rotation with it that's why there's a tornado warning with it and it does go into Macoupin County what's crazy about this is the fact that typically if you're gonna get counties that have repeat warnings like this it's in the spring in the summertime when you have a lot of energy to work with very warm temperatures a lot of humidity the fact that we're talking about this in December that you can get and even in spots that are worked over. You know, a lot of times we'll talk about the atmosphere being worked over from an earlier round of storms. Storms are coming behind that. They can't be as strong. The fact that we can have storms still be strong, even in the atmosphere that's as worked over as it is, just shows you, Kevin, that the upper atmosphere support for severe weather has been very strong for today. And it makes sense that we're dealing with all these warnings that we have, um, just because this is pretty rare to have happen, especially in December. 
Yeah, it is. And, you know, what we've got here tonight are multiple storms, multiple warnings. You had the warning down there. Uh, the one that we're still really concerned about that still has the confirmation, Strasburg to Stewartson now, that area. And again, when you guys get a chance, let, let me know what uh, what Jacob decided to do in terms of his location. Because I know he was coming in Windsor. I wondered if he went... Uh, back to the east there, if he, if he went south there towards Strasburg and Stewartson, I'd love to know his location because this thing is racing off to the east. So next down the line is Cumberland and Coles County. And we talked about uh, eastern Illinois there. Okay, so um, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have Jacob here in a few minutes as he, he comes into Strasburg, and he is gonna want to uh, watch things carefully there uh, because there's still some rotation on that storm that is uh, coming in west of his location and, and coming very fast. So we'll check in, in with him in, in just a second, but I just want to talk about down the line: Mattoon, okay, Paradise, Neoga, Cumberland County, Coles County, all down the line there. And Jack, you've got got that pulled up there as well. Yep, I've got a track on that. So so again, uh, kind of more of a zoomed out view just because uh, we can't have these, uh, we can't have it zoomed in with these storms because they're moving too fast. The reserves are still moving around 60 miles per hour off to the northeast. So we had to zoom out to be able to draw our cone here. But the Stewartson area at 953, the Strasburg area 956, Neoga just after 10 at 1002, Paradise 1006, Mattoon at 1011, Charleston 1020. Hutton at 10:22, Ashmore 10:28, Martinsville 10:31, and Marshall 10:41. Uh, again, this is moving very quickly, and so we've been watching this storm move from the southwest to the northeast, and many times it's been in between about 50, 55, 60 miles an hour, and so we wanted to put a track on it. So these would be obviously many locations are outside of the actual warning polygon for our tornado warning, but this thing is going to hold on and keep its strength and be able to come out of that warning and likely fire off a new tornado warning. And so we just want to let you know down the line to also start to get prepared, uh, especially if you live a little bit farther away from the actual center of circulation. You got a little bit of some time here, but this again is moving very fast. So if you live closer to the center of circulation, like your Stewartson area or Strasburg, you want to get there pretty quick. Kevin, back to you. Okay, uh, let's kind of go along the line here where we've got severe thunderstorm warnings. If you are in Paxton and Ludlow, you're probably you know starting to hear that rain come down. Lots of lightning there. This stretches east of uh, Fisher between Fisher and Rantoul. Again, this is all severe thunderstorm warned. Damaging straight line winds a possibility with this. Then we're coming into between Muhammad and Champaign, west of Thomasboro. There's your storm there near Seymour. Heavy rainfall, Monticello. Again, still severe thunderstorm warned from Ivesdale to Sedoris. All of these also, as we, especially we get down here, this is strengthening a little bit here between uh, the Bument area, uh, west of Hammond, Lake City, west of Lovington, Dalton City. That's a pretty intense part of that line there. We're going to have to watch that carefully. That's the, one, that's the severe thunderstorm warning mm. that has a tornado possible tag yeah. with it. Tornado possible. And I'm just, I'm seeing as I zoom in just on, yeah. on the Monticello area, there's some strong, those would be strong winds. damaging winds there yeah. that, that I'm seeing, those bright colors there. And there's, uh, you know, possibly a little another area down here near uh, just south of La Place um, in Lake City. And then as we kind of continue down the line, we'll come back down to where we've got the tornado warning. In effect, still, we still got a little something there. It's obviously not as strong as what it once was. And they did take away the um, observed tag with yeah. it. So it's radar indicated now okay uh, but kevin or it looks like jacob was kind of waving around okay i think uh i think jacob is just coming into the strasburg area now that storm's right on top of you jacob what do you got yeah hey i wanted to tell you real quick we're just passing through strasburg a reference point now we're at clarksburg road i'm going to turn to the right here that's going to give us a west view the rain now starting to come down also about halfway between strasburg and stewardson is stu Stroth high school and uh, there's a reference point too, as far as letting folks know where this storm is. I got a car turning in front of me here. Uh, as I flip this around now, you're going to be looking off to the west, straight into the storm. There's a very stiff south and east wind right now. So they're a little concerning seeing that as well here with the storm bearing down on us now. The rain starting to come down, uh, getting a little bit intense here. Driving through town, Strasburg, not very many folks out. Not very many folks out uh, really in this area, which is a good thing. They should be sheltering now with this storm, a history of producing uh, potentially significant tornadoes all the way back by St. Louis. 
We're going to sit here for a few seconds. I'm going to get my bearing and radar. Lots of lightning. We've got this recording also. We're going to leave this shot up. I'm probably going to bail south here a little bit down towards the high school. Yeah, how close uh, are you? So if y'all can help me Jacob, understand a yeah. little bit more to what you're seeing, I'm listening in. Yeah, yeah. give me your exact location again there. Yeah. I'm on Clarksburg Road and 32, two miles south of Strasburg. Okay, two miles south of Strasburg. Okay, so it looks like the rotation with that is going to be just yep. northwest of Strasburg. Just northwest of Strasburg is, is, is what we're looking at there. And so that, if you're, if you're just south of Strasburg, uh, that thing uh, looks like the rotation is actually going to be coming into the Windsor area here um, before too long. And so it's, it's probably just north of you now. It's, that rotation is now right on uh, 16 and 32, where you just literally would have came from. Um, so there's Windsor, there's Strasburg. Uh, Jacob is right down here. I think it's going to be just north of you. And so you might peel back to the north there and see if you catch anything because this thing seemingly is, is, is wanting to make its way along Highway 16 and head towards Gaze and eventually Mattoon possibly uh, is where some of that rotation is. Yeah, uh, if you can hear me, I don't know if you're able to hear me or not. The wind is solidly blowing out of the south now here, so I know that that rotation is going to be by north, uh, and so we're going to watch it and keep you updated on that. Uh, I'm going to zip back north here in 32 into town, so I'd keep an eye on that shot, and, and uh, we'll see what happens here in the next couple of minutes. Okay, we're, we're going to keep an eye on his shot there, guys. Um, you can see a lot of lightning there where he is. He is just south of Strasburg, but he's going to head back north there on 32 and uh, meet up there with 16 where that rotation is. Again, we can kind of we can see it right here, okay? That's the rotation. That's going to be right there at 16 and uh, 32 southwest of Windsor. It okay. Like it's heading more in a northeast, northeast east direction. That's correct. You know, so it's it's not it's not more of that. Well, it's it's always was moving northeast. It seems like it's turning a bit harder to the northeast, um, which also usually is good in terms of it weakening, and that's probably why the velocity yeah. signature doesn't look as impressive Wait, here, anymore. Yeah, let's, watch this. We'll just back. This is back yeah. this up just to kind of show you what the velocity signature looked like um, earlier. I mean, that's, that's what it was near Herrick. Look at those, those purples and those reds and those yeah. blues that were right there. We'll step it forward, okay? It's still fairly strong there between Herrick and Calden, okay? See those bright colors there near Calden? We'll step it even more forward. As it crossed over uh, a 128 there, you weakened it a little bit. Weakened quite a bit there near uh, west of Strasburg. So there it is now. And then now where it's located currently is right there where I said 32 yeah. and 16 yep. are in Windsor. You can see just how different uh, that looks. But still, That's there's some rotation within it. This thing could ramp up. We're not getting the same uh, tornado debris signature on this either. So it has weakened. Uh, but this thing's coming into Windsor now, Gaze, the Mattoon area. And we can actually pull up our uh, camera here in Mattoon. And this is what we're going to be looking at now is our camera view here to the west. And so we're going to start to see at least some kind of um, um, definition probably to the, uh, the the sky here before too long. And we'll see what's kind of coming into uh, Mattoon as this storm is coming into Coles County now. They have not extended uh, the tornado warning. As a matter of fact, it looks like the tornado warning is no longer in effect. Also just wanted to point out too that on our um, a Max 1, we have our tornado watch that does go until 2 o'clock tonight. Uh, they have pulled Menard, Cass, and Morgan counties from the tornado watch. So that's some good news there um, that we're starting to see that uh, as these storms pass by that uh, we're going to be able to give the all clear. So Menard, Cass, and Morgan counties and you know in Cass County, Kevin, earlier on this uh, evening, uh, there was likely a pretty significant tornado in that county. So good news for them that they're going to be looking at the all clear. But again, it's only three counties of our viewing area. We still have many, many counties that are left over here and that does go until two o'clock tonight. So there's no way that we're going to be totally all clear until at least after midnight because especially watching some of those storms coming in out of the St. Louis area with that new tornado warning that's in portions of McCoupin County, that one may also last a long time too. So it'll probably be a late night for us, Kevin, but just want to point out some good news there with the tornado watch. New severe thunderstorm warning, wide, very large, encompassing severe thunderstorm warning that includes uh, southern portions of Champaign County, all of Douglas, all of Coles, and parts of Cumberland County. You're looking at it there. Um, so they have that, you're going to see the 
red box drop off of that uh, off of this here that was a tornado warning it's no longer in effect so all we've got in our area now if i'm if i'm correct are all severe thunderstorm warnings which is good okay jacob what do you got Hey, Kevin, wanted to let you know, uh, I'm in the rear flank downdraft here. There's winds wrapping around that area of circulation. It looks like it's getting going again close to Windsor. We were in Strasburg, and there were some limbs coming down. Still have power on, but for a little bit, I had some gusts there, 50 to 60 miles an hour here. I don't think this storm is done, and I'm particularly concerned for Mattoon and Charleston. We're going to zip back north to Windsor and start sliding to the east behind it here and see what we follow. You, know, the, you said the warning was dropped, I think. I'm not sure this storm is done based on what I'm seeing with that rear flank downdraft. Back to you guys. All right, yeah, Jacob, uh, eyes on the storm. He's in the perfect location. Uh, he's right there on it because he's be he's between Strasburg and Windsor now. Okay, so he's right there, uh, going to be coming into six on to 16, and then he'll he'll find his way along 16 there between Windsor and Gaze. Then eventually, so there's Mattoon. Okay, so he's going to you know be right there on that and let us know kind of what he's seeing as we look at the velocity on this. Oh, there's still a little something there. I yeah, it, tell and it was a strong storm for it, so it to have totally just dropped off yeah. velocity-wise is going to be yeah. pretty hard to do. But um, yeah, like he said, he's in the rear flank downdraft. Um, it still got strength, and um, you know, it even if it kind of lines out a little bit more, um, doesn't necessarily mean that we can't see a new tornado warning pop back up again at some point from that one. Okay, just just up here, because I know some people are watching us here in, in Rantoul and Ludlow and Thomasboro um, into uh, Champaign. Uh, they're a you know, pretty good little storm that's coming into town here right now. It's a severe thunderstorm, winds of 60 miles an hour. Jacob, what do you got? I'm looking here to the north and east towards Windsor. I saw a flash close to the ground. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit to the east, uh, a little bit more in that direction. Something did not look like lightning. It looked more like a power flash. And as I'm looking at radar between Windsor and Gaze, it looks like we've got a, uh, yep. a signature yep. Yep. coming together yep. there. I think this yep. is going to be coming down now yep. towards Mattoon. So we're going to hurry and follow up on this here. Uh, heads up, Mattoon. Yep. Heads up, Gaze. Heads up, Gaze, Mattoon right now. Uh, strong, uh, strong radar signature of, of a tornado that's developing here. We're going Gonna, I'm going I'm to switch over here to my other. Uh, they're pro I'm telling you, they're going to pop a warning on this here before too long. There's another strong signature right there. Here it is. We're seeing it right there between Windsor and Gaze. That right there. Gaze, you need to be in your shelter right now. You've got, I'm not even kidding, you probably have a minute. Uh, there's a tornado, most likely. Ra according to the radar here, there is a tornado between Windsor and Gaze along Highway 16 right now. That is a very strong indicator of a tornado. Um, that is, uh, I think they're probably going to pop this at any second. A new tornado warning has got to come out. Uh, they've got to issue this. Um, let's see here. And it, and it just shows you, you know, that was just one scan. So after okay, they, a few scans of weakening, okay, it's here we go. strengthened. There we go. We got it. Uh, new tornado warning there. A tornado warning for Coles, Douglas, and Moultrie County. Just as you were mentioning, Jacob uh, is on the storm there. You probably are seeing power flashes. We're probably going to see um, a little bit of a, a drop in the correlation coefficient here before too long, which is our tornado. Debris signature, we've got a tornado right now between Windsor and Gaze, most likely, along Highway 16. If you're in Gaze, if you are down the line into Mattoon, you need to be taking shelter soon here as well. I want us to be also in the control room, have that Mattoon camera up and ready to go, because we're going to be wanting to take a look at that here. As that storm comes in there, we're going to have a view of that here before too long. It, between Windsor and Gaze on 16 right now, oh. that is rotation. And it's, I don't know if you saw this, Kevin, it's moving at 80 miles an hour. Okay, yeah, this thing is, is absolutely, absolutely Racing. It's booking it. Um, that Holy I'm just going to tell you right now, um, when storms move at that pace, radar cannot do its job properly. I'm just going to tell you the truth uh, because uh, the reason is because the radar scan's coming every few minutes. Storms are moving at 80 miles an hour. That is an unbelievable clip for those storms to be moving at here. Yeah. Um, so that storm most likely is 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 over gaze, has passed through gaze, and and I I feel okay. I think gaze is taking a hit. Yeah. Yeah. I think Gaze has taken a hit from, from a tornado here. I'm getting, um, uh, you can see it right here, the correlation coefficient. Um, and there's Jacob. Uh, Jacob, I think Gaze has taken a hit from a tornado. Go ahead, Jacob. 
Yeah, hey, I'm thinking I'm seeing multiple power flashes in that direction. I'm about to turn the corner in Windsor now. It looks like Windsor is out of power and uh, this storm moving off to these, so we may have damage uh, very shortly. I'm also able to see a well-defined lowering on the back side here. It looks like Windsor is out of power now and uh, that's that's got to have been power flashes there. So this is a tornado down. I'm reporting that now to the east of Windsor now in Gaze. We're going to get to Gaze here, have a report for you coming up here in just a few minutes. Back yep. to you in the studio. Confirmation, this is, uh, there is a tornado that just passed through Gaze. It's going to be coming there on the northwest side of Mattoon along Highway 16, 121 that comes out of Allenville between Allen, uh, Allenville and Mattoon. You need to be taking shelter. Uh, radar here, that blue color right there is the tornado. Tornado debris signature. This is confirmation that uh, debris has been lofted into the air and we have an ongoing tornado that has occurred here. Um, we take a look at the velocity on this. And again, this was even just a couple of minutes ago. So this is going to be north and east there, probably along 121. You need to be taking shelter right now. This is a very dangerous storm that has developed very rapidly here and has lofted debris into the air. We're going to be watching our camera uh, view coming up here in just a moment in Mattoon because we're going to have a view of the storm as it comes in. But this is of highest concern right now. Tornado warning in effect for portions of Coles, Douglas, and Moultrie County. The Gaze area, according to what we can see, on radar has 100% taken a hit uh, from a tornado there and probably uh, just southwest of that along Highway 16 as we're seeing that debris get lofted. We'll see if this gets stronger or not, but there is definitely that continued velocity. Again, because of how fast this storm is moving at 80 miles per hour, um, the next radar scan, this thing is going to be possibly all the way across uh, Highway 121 here uh, before too long in north and west of Mattoon. Uh, we're seeing the lightning kind of pick up there on the left side of your screen as our camera there. Jacob had just passed through Windsor. He's probably going to be coming upon potentially some of that damage here before too long. Uh, but if you are in the Mattoon area, uh, that area right now under a tornado warning, um, just kind of including everybody there from Humboldt, um, uh, just northwest of Charleston there, that whole area, uh, we are definitely concerned for a tornado and we're just waiting for that next scan to come in here uh, to see exactly where it, that little scan puts this. But look at that. Okay, look at that huge tornado debris signature now. There's a ton of debris that's been lofted into the air now. This is going to be northeast of Gaze. I still think we have a tornado that is ongoing. Um, so there it is. It's going to be just northwest of Mattoon by a, a few miles. And this is moving to the north and east. It's now at 75 miles an hour. Um, we've got it as a confirmed tornado, which makes sense. We call it that before they, they pop that. But it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be hard. It's going to be getting into the uh, Mattoon area, just to the north of Mattoon here. We're thinking within the next five minutes or so, if not even uh, already there, uh, just because of the oh, fact that. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's take the Mattoon camera here, if we can. Uh, take the Mattoon camera here. We're really, you look at these these bands of rain here uh, as that storm is really uh, packing a punch there. Coming into Mattoon, you can see just the sheets of rain coming across uh, the rain bands there. Look at that through just through the, the air there. You can see how fast those winds are coming in on the west side. Um, we've got that storm coming in there northwest of Mattoon. Strong winds. You should be in your shelter. And Jacob Dickey, you're coming into the Gaze area right now. What do you got? Hey, uh, I've been seeing more power flashes to the north and east here. We're looking east now, uh, Highway 16, a few miles from Gaze. This is a big one, folks. You've got to take this seriously. North of Mattoon, the expressway, that new industrial expressway they've built, this is heading towards the factory complexes up there. Uh, really, Mattoon, Charleston also. On the west side, there's more power flashes in front of me. Large tornado in front of me on the ground right now, just coming through Gaze. We've got some significant damage here on the side. Okay, we've got homes that are hit now in Gaze. Uh, this is a significant tornado that has come through here, and uh, we're watching the tornado move on through. Can you see my camera, guys? Can yeah, you see yeah. the, the camera? Got it. Yep, we got it. We can see it. That's damage there. You're just yeah, coming so into Gaze. I've got more power flashes to the east. Yep, yep, that's right. And so it looks like we're going to try and get around here on the highway into Gaze. Uh, I'm going to be, I don't know if you saw those power flashes in front of me again, uh, but this is a large tornado now. And make sure you're forwarding this to the National Weather Service. Uh, I can stare at it. Look oh, at that. Wow. That is a, did you see those? That is yep. a large, destructive tornado that is now moving to the north and to the east here. So uh, we are going to have to end the chase and figure out uh, and check in with folks here. 
but clearly a large tornado now moving just to the northwest of Mattoon. This is an emergency situation. Yeah, hey, all right, here we go, guys. Um, we've got a tornado on the ground just northwest of Mattoon. Our Mattoon camera, we've lost. Uh, looks like we lost it there for a second, um, possibly just came back. Uh, but I want to come back over to the radar here. We are getting extremely strong indicators of a tornado here that is northwest of Mattoon. If you're in Humboldt right now, you need to be taking shelter immediately. Uh, north of Mattoon, there it is right there. We have confirmed damage. Jacob Dickey uh, just came through gaze. No surprise there. We have a very, this, uh, uh, Jack, this is, yeah, this is, this is not this good. Is not good. Uh, um, this right here, this tornado debris signature, this blue color you see here, oh, it's big. is very large. I think Gaze possibly took a direct hit from this, and it is now still on the ground. I think we've still got a tornado here uh, near Mattoon, north of Mattoon, heading towards the Humboldt area, and a ton of debris that is being lofted into the air. Um, this, is, uh, this is not good here. Um, you need to be in your tornado safe spots. If you are in Coles County right now, let's just say anywhere, I'm telling you along Highway 45, and that's the thing too, this thing is going to cross 45 in the next few minutes. It's going to cross 57 in the next few minutes here as well. It's moving at such a fast clip that um, you have to go now. This is this is imperative for you to go to your safe spot here. Jack, you got a bunch of towns here. Yep, a bunch of towns. Potentially coming up. Yep, and again, because of how fast this thing is moving, we have to zoom out, so it might be a bit more to the northeast than what this cone is showing, but still, if you live anywhere near these areas I'm going to be calling out here definitely go into your safe spot uh, Mattoon right now you know that we've been saying your name for quite a while now Charleston just in a few minutes at 10 10 Ashmore 10 17 maybe even Paris 10 31 now these are being picking up on some of the more the bigger locations that are going to show up here some of the bigger population centers so if you live nearby the, some of these and your name and your sit spot has not been called out uh, you still want to make sure that you take shelter because um, it's going to be picking up on some of the larger population areas Christman 1036 Clinton, 1143, back in over in the, maybe even looking into Danville, 1048. So, Kevin, we are looking at this to be moving very fast. Still, last check, 75 mile per hour northeasterly track. Okay. We, we've we still got an ongoing tornado here, okay? We, I want to take you here. Look at all of this, this blue color here, okay? Right here in Mattoon, north of Mattoon. This is debris that's being lofted into the air where we've still probably got a, a tornado here. And, and if we can come on camera, I just, I just want to kind of show this here. Again, down here is Gaze, where that storm just came through, the tornado. All of this debris, a tornado debris signature now showing up north of Mattoon. Humboldt is up here, okay? You've got 45 right here. Here's I-57 uh, that's right here, okay? And so we're talking about an area, highly populated areas through here where there's a ton of, I bet there's debris that could be raining down here right now. Jacob Dickey, who was in Gaze, and I think he's there now, is telling us okay. that there is major damage in the Gaze area there on the north side. We've got his shot up there, and oh, now Jacob, uh, wow, look at that. Uh, what are you seeing, Jacob? Hey, uh, we're here in the north side of Gaze. It looks like this just missed Gaze proper. It's the north and west side of town here. Uh, we're seeing debris. This home has sustained some structural damage here. Uh, there's a lot of debris to outbuildings. Uh, there's a couch. Do you see this couch in front of me? Uh, that right there is a couch. This is a, that's, that's not a good sign here. There is damage to other homes in this area, likely significant. Uh, I can't stress that enough. So we're going to try and get back into Gaze and head towards Mattoon Charleston, but we are confirming damage now in the Gaze area. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, and so we're going to send it back to you guys. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Jacob. Um, again, we are in the middle of, of a tornado outbreak that is occurring across parts of central Illinois here tonight. It's 10.06 p.m. here on this Friday night on December the 10th, where tornadoes have ripped through parts of central Illinois tonight, and we are still tracking them. We're not done yet. There are still many of you who are under the gun. Those of you in Coles County, in Humboldt, um, they're along anywhere between I-57 north of Mattoon or US-45 north of Mattoon. You need to be taking shelter right now. This is a very dangerous, life-threatening situation. We've got tornadoes on the ground. 
We still have uh, rotation showing up with this here as well. On our storms that are moving through that, that loft of debris between Humboldt and uh, the Loxa area, um, just north and west of Charleston. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna switch over to our uh, Charleston camera here and I'm gonna pop it up uh, to see what we've got over there and see if we're seeing anything uh, because we're going to have a little bit of a view there, possibly to the to the north and west. Jacob, again, there is in the Gays area. We're uh, kind of north on the north side of town. He was telling us that they uh, may have taken um, a hit um, with some of the debris that he's already uh, been seeing. I think north and east of there, uh, that tornado uh, probably did continue and uh, probably did additional damage north and east of Gays and probably between Allenville and Mattoon along 121, there was probably... Uh, potentially more damage there. But now the concern is between Humboldt uh, there along Highway 45. Let's see where we can see as far as any rotation. I will say this rotation has weakened a little bit on this. Yeah, it's weakened a little bit on this one. But wow, how quickly did that last one uh, kind of kick up? Yeah, it's almost like it, almost like the last one kicked up because it's rear flank downdraft kind of spun itself, almost like it spun itself back up again. And, uh, you know, we just got to watch out for that because, again, we've been talking about it. This is the southern storm. There's nothing that's been off to our southeast or south to really impede any um, of the good moisture and the good conditions to have these storms continue to go on. So uh, there is nothing that could stop this one except for itself essentially and so that's why we're still going to be looking at this one to maybe still potentially hold on to its strength and maybe do what it just did yeah that's right uh jack okay so we've got we've i, I still want to make mention of what's going on up here in champaign county uh because there's a very strong storm that that we're still dealing with up here in champaign county as well um between Champaign, Urbana, St. Joe, very heavy rainfall. Uh, there's Savoy uh, coming into Philo and Sydney, Tolono. You can see that. Maybe even some small hail uh, showing up, but Pasodum along Highway 45. Uh, all of these, you know, we still have several severe thunderstorm warnings. All the way up to um, Fort Nearcoy County. Yeah. Um, all the way up to Shabans. We have. Um, uh, severe thunderstorm warnings for 60 mile per hour winds up there too. So we have warnings from the northern edge of our viewing area almost all the way down to I-70 and um, it, it just shows you that this is again a very conducive environment for these storms to continue to hold on to their strength for multiple hours. Okay, um, let's see here. We're gonna we're gonna come back down. Um, we're looking at uh, some of the other storms. Is, is it wanting me to look at uh, the storms on radar in Strasburg? Okay. Um, uh, Jay, let's just bring Jacob up. Jacob, what do you got? Hey, uh, you got, uh, okay, I'm on. Um, there's some significant damage to the north and west of Gaze and then eventually to the north and east. I'm going to get to Mattoon and go north towards Humboldt. I think the expressway, the industrial expressway, about two miles north, it's that little, uh, business parkway they put in years back. I think that area may be where there's some more damage, and so we're going to go uh, that way. I want to stress for folks in Mattoon and Charleston, the lights are on in Mattoon right now. Do not head down towards Gaze. Let emergency crews go in there. Uh, we got out of there because of the smell of natural gas in that area, and so we're going to maneuver and try and watch the storm and see if we can't get some more damage up here north of Mattoon. I was looking at that storm also to the north of Strasburg, uh, northwest of Stewartson, and it caught my eye a little bit. I just want to make sure there's nothing that's coming in behind it here. Uh, but clearly, this has been a significant strike in the Gaze area. Uh, we saw the tornado. We brought it to you, and News is working on getting that video edited so we can re air those power flashes for you. Reporting here now on the southwest side of Mattoon, back to you in the studio. Okay, so that storm now between Humboldt, uh, uh, the Hinesboro area as well, the rotation not as strong as what it once was. But we're going to have to watch here, okay, as this comes into Edgar County, into Douglas County here. I know Oakland, you know, uh, the Reardon area, the tornado sirens are probably going off there as well. Uh, there still is a little guy there, There's still a little bit of rotation that might be showing up there uh, northeast of Mattoon. And that's the thing, these things are kind of, you know, they're going through their, their cycles. Their cycles, yeah. And, um, you know, we've got, you know, these little line segments here where there's a lot of shear out there. Uh, the storm 
just passed through Champaign, the St. Joe area, uh, still dropping a lot of heavy rainfall. You're probably hearing the, the thunder and seeing the flashes of lightning, but the biggest concern continues to be with the tornado warn storm that is currently right on the Douglas and Coles County line. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so again, this is uh, this was just the confirmation that we had. Trees down, power poles bent along Route 16 just northeast of Windsor, silos blown down, and houses damaged between Windsor and Gays is the official report coming in. And that matches up with, you even saw, um, as Jacob was even approaching the Gays area, you could see what probably was going to be um, the aluminum from some of those silos that was strewn along the highway. Um, the good news is, is that that velocity really does not look to be as good anymore, but it is still there. And there's even still like one little spot that we're still kind of watching for, um, just kind of north of the, the Luxa area, north, northwest of Charleston, kind of right in there. There's still a little spot that we are continuing to keep an eye on. Yeah, um, and, and, and Jake, I think Jacob is now east of Mattoon. That storm is probably going to pass him by. He's not going to be able to catch up to it. Correct. Yeah, um, I, would, I would have him shoot back towards Gaze to the Windsor area because uh, we have, uh, this is the uh, one and only full-on, full-blown damage report of, of a tornado. Uh, silos down. Uh, poles down. Uh, uh, Jacob, you know, witnessed some of that as well. But I, I would head back that way because that storm is, is going to be racing off to the east now. Um, so, so I would. Uh, we're going to probably send him back that way and, and check out some of the damage. Now, that doesn't mean we're not going to keep following the storm here for you guys here um, on radar because we definitely um, are going to be doing that. Um, but I think it's best that we just take him. We, we come back to Max Two on this. Um, and because there's still concern there, there's, you know, Oakland there. We've still got some of that rotation. Okay? I mean, it's still, you know, there. It's still there, yeah. And, and yep. it, could, it could, you know, ramp up here again. So don't let your guard down there in southeastern Douglas County, northeastern Coles County there, and eventually kind of the Edgar County area as well. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, been... It's now moving at 60 miles an hour, so it's a little slower now, which is still which is good. Still pretty quick to, yep. to try to keep up with, um, obviously, but... Um, Okay, so they've cleaned it up, so now we still have our, they're still keeping it as observed right now, um, most likely out of precaution because of how fast it's moving and how we saw the damage in gaze, but, um, and they're not saying that there's not a tornado on the ground still, um, but the velocity looks to be a lot better, which is, which is good news there, but it, it is still there, so there still could be a tornado on the ground, and so we need to make sure that we're still um, taking precautions for those who live in the uh, Rarden area, Hinesboro, Oakland, and eventually getting to um, maybe outside of the warning area near the Brockton area um, just to warn folks down the line because, again, it's still moving quick at 60 miles an hour, but it's not the 80 miles an hour that it was when that warning first got popped off. Sure. Um, you know, the storms here are still packing a punch. You still have some wind. Uh, I, I'm sure if, uh, some of the radar indications here, you know, from Gifford to Royal St. Joe, yeah, kind of those orange colors there uh, that might indicate uh, there might be some fairly strong winds, even w with these storms, which is why you know, we had those severe thunderstorm warnings. But like you said, uh, cleaning up these warnings uh, quite a bit. But, boy, I, I hate to see this. Uh, look at that storm again down towards Edwardsville. It's got a tornado yeah. warning on it again. again. And we'll see, you know, what, what those do. Um, yeah, here's, you know, we definitely have had a tornado back here between Windsor and Gaze. We had the power flashes uh, for you there. Jacob's going to head back there and, and see what he can see uh, from the ground here in just a little bit. Because that storm now that did prompt all this, it has weakened considerably from what it was. There is still some broad rotation in there. It is not as strong as what it once was. Uh, but if you are between Hinesboro and Oakland along Highway 133, um, those areas, uh, you should still obviously be in your tornado safe spot just to make sure. But I want to keep watching this guy down here, south of Charleston, east of Lerna, Westfield. Okay, all right. We're just going to watch this guy because, okay, start to see, you know, a little something trying to yeah. show up down there. So we got to watch that carefully. If this little notch tries to start, uh, you know, acting out of sorts, we may have to you know, we'll carefully be monitoring that guy because that one becomes the next kind of tail end, Charlie, the southern one that is unimpeded from other storms um, from developing. So we've got to kind of watch that.
And we've got, I mean, it just, just shows you how good the atmosphere is on a December 10th night where in northwest Indiana, there are now multiple tornado warnings up there. So um, right now in our viewing area, we have our big severe thunderstorm warning, which includes Coles, Cumberland, Douglas, Moultrie counties, amongst others. We have our tornado warning for Coles and Douglas County. And then a little bit of uh, McCoupin County does have a tornado warning in that one for the one that's coming out of St. Louis. But things have quieted down in terms of the warnings. Now, we still do have some rain showers and gusty winds across Iroquois County into Vermilion County and into eastern Champaign County. And then southern Champaign County is where you've got um, the warning beginning to pop up there for that severe thunderstorm warning. But again, Kevin, we've kind of seen things get cleaned up here a little bit. But uh, that one, that storm now, that's kind of by the Lerna area, by the Campbell area, that's the one that's now the, the southern one. And that one might be the one to watch here in a few minutes. Yeah, uh, it is. Um, just taking a, a quick glance at some of the uh, power outages here from Ameren, and you can see there, there's Gaze. And so that little guy right there, okay, that little blue triangle, you can see it up here. When you get to the, these blue triangles or orange, that means more customers that are without power. And so uh, there's 170 people without power. now. Gaze is a, a you know relatively small town there, um, so or 170 customers I should say. Uh, but you can see there's some outages there in Windsor. There's the Gaze, no surprise. But this this 170 over here near Mattoon, that could encompass kind of this whole area uh, that's right here. To be honest, um, so we've got still several other areas. You can see all of these little little boxes, or these little round guys here are indicating at least somebody that is currently without power uh, across the area. Okay, uh, let's see. I believe we just got something new in. What do we get? Oh, uh, Jacob's by some uh, power lines. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's let's take Jacob's shot here. Jacob, you're coming up on something. What do you what do you got? Is that uh, uh, looks like somebody maybe in front of a power line? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, about a mile north on County Road 750 North. I wanted to jump to the north of Gaze and come in on the north side where I saw that damage earlier. It is clear that the tornado passed in front of me. You'll see a car in front of me. There's a line in front of me, and then there's definitely some power poles down just beyond that car. There appears to be a structure to the right of that, and I can't quite make out if there's damage to it. I'll be honest, I think there's going to be where this location is. We're about uh, two or three miles to the northeast of Gaze here, um, close to the Frontier Plainsman's Range, and uh, that'll be straight west of Mattoon. So if this tornado continued, it would have crossed 121 just to the northwest, past the, uh, the Sara Lee plant there on the northwest side. So we're gonna try and get a little closer here. It's raining now. We're gonna wait for the rain to pass. That should be happening shortly. And then we'll get some closer video and some up close video on the ground from this area. Clearly a tornado has come through here. We saw it, we see damage from it now, and we continue to watch that storm move off to these. That new warning though for Fayette, Montgomery County, severe thunderstorm warning, you know, we may not be done for the night for some of the areas here in southeast ja central Illinois. Jacob, what's your Reporting exact gaze back to you in the studio? Yeah. Jacob, can you give me your exact location that you that you're at there right now again? Yes, I'm gonna be a half mile east of County Road 100 East and County Road 750 North. It'll be about two miles northeast of Gaze. I took yeah. the two, the second road outside of Gaze there to the north one mile. Gotcha. Yep, I gotcha. Yep. Okay. So, um, so yeah, gotcha. So, okay, very good. Well, keep letting us know what you see up there. We'll get us another report here coming up. Uh, but here we go. We'll come back here on screen. You can see. So here's Gaze. Okay. Here's uh, 100 east and 750. So essentially, this is where, where Jacob um, is located along here. And we think that that uh, tornado again came right through here. Matter of fact, here's what we can do. All right. Let, let's do this. Let's let's go back and we're going to take the velocity and bring it back. Let's zoom out a little bit here and just kind of see exactly where that where this may have passed. Let me shut off this here. Yes. And okay, so you are gonna see the velocity. There it is there. We had it picking up. We were talking to Jacob right there. He was falling right behind it. And literally, gosh, look at that. Look how quick that scan was right there. And the next scan, boom, there it, there it is. So maybe right there on the kind of southwest side of Gaze, and then it probably passed just there on the north side 
as he was kind of talking about, and possibly along a track right along through here is what we think is possibly where that went through. That That's kind of our best guess just by kind of going back and looking at uh, a previous radar scan. Because what happens is when we pr probably bring up the next scan, um, <laughs> that thing is, that thing is, so far to the east there so you kind of have to extrapolate that out so i think it passed on the southwest side and then they're on the northwest to the north side there in the control room they were saying that they've got video of okay. um jacob's power flashes that uh that he saw would you like to have those get played um let's um hold off on i want to take a, a look i want to take a look at something here just real yeah. quick we're going to come back up because we still have a tornado warning here that's in effect. And you can see damage on the actual live feed from Jacobs uh, from the storm tracker. Yeah, so um, you're looking at his view there. Okay, hold on here. We just got another report of a semi. Semi blown over yeah. near the Rural King Distribution Center in Mattoon. Okay, so that's what the storms that came through uh, here just a moment ago. I, 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 <laughs> I want to watch the storm that's out here towards Oakland right now because... Yeah, well, it's got it's got itself a nice little notch again. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's getting a notch, and I'm getting... I think I think we got another tornado debris signature. Okay. I think there's another tornado debris signature. We might have, we might have another tornado. Over Oakland? Yep, over yep. Oakland. Yep. There it is right yep. there. Uh, I think we've got another tornado here over Oakland right now. Um, so here we go again. This thing is ramped back up. We've got rotation, and that thing is once again producing tornado, and I think we have damage in the Oakland area now or possibly there on the south side of Oakland. There it is. You're looking at it. We've been watching this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take this scan back. So there it is between the, uh, the Reardon area and boom. Here it comes. You're starting to see that, that debris signature. Definitely evident. I think on the southeast side of town of Oakland, we've had yet again another tornado here crossing over 133. Um, and now, a tornado warning, I'm, they have to carry this into Edgar County, I think. Yep. yep. Um, um, if you live in the Brockton area, you've only got a few minutes until that would get to you. Um, if that continues to move off to the, it'll probably go right between Borton and Brockton, but right in that area. But uh, we've got that coming in at 1030, Garland 1036, Christman 1046. Raven 1052. I mean, this is again going to be um, it's going to be a fast one. Uh, may not be 80 miles an hour, but it's going to be a fast one. Uh, probably going to be at least 50 miles an hour with the movement and track of the uh, of this storm. But uh, yeah, you can definitely see it clearly with that uh, debris tracker there. We got a little bit of the fallout over the Oakland area. So yeah, I think we are definitely seeing another one spawning. Yeah, possibly another tornado here right now between Oakland and the uh, Borton area there. If you're in Brockton, you need to be taking shelter along Highway 49. Absolutely be taking shelter. That's into Edgar County. You got to think that the Weather Service is going to pop a new tornado warning here for Edgar County because uh, according to radar, we've got another tornado debris signature uh, that, uh, that, that might be showing up here. Um, it looks like we've got that here. Let's go to Jacob. He's got some damage there of a house. Jacob, location, what do you got? Hey, Kevin, we're just a little bit to the west of that intersection I told you about. We kind of got through and around some power lines that were down. You can see the house here, some major damage to the trees. It looks like the top of the trees have been uh, broken off. The house itself looks to have at least some damage here. This is the house on the south side. There's another house to the, my right that has damage too. We're gonna go look at that one in a second, but we're surveying this area. Uh, I've seen plenty of tornadoes in my time. I know you have too, Kevin. Without radar, we could look at this and, and make the, the clear as day call that this was tornado damage based on what I'm seeing. There appears to be a silo hanging there to the left. I don't know if you see that to the left of the house. I can't make it out. It's still raining. We're going to try and get closer and see what we can find and uh, check in some folks here as well in this area. Uh, and of course that Oakland area. Boy, did that spin up quickly too. It didn't look too impressive on radar. It spun up real quick. So back to you in the studio. Yeah, and you know, that's the thing. Uh, there you go. I think you're right. That does look like maybe kind of a silo there. Of, of some kind um, there. So he's gonna keep kind of maneuvering around. Listen, so it, we got we got the new tornado warning for kay. it. Um, we got it for Coles, Douglas, Edgar, and uh, even goes into a little bit of that uh, south 
eastern corner right. of Vermilion County sure. until 11 o'clock, and it's moving at 70 miles an hour. So it's fast again. So fast. It's fast. And so that's, again, it's going to be hard for us to really, um, you know, show you exactly where it is because our radar image will already be a couple minutes behind what it's actually doing. So, so fast. It's these tracks that we'll do here. We'll put a track on it. But again, this is all relative um, because of how fast it's going to go. Um, it's it's quick it's quick so again the Rarden area 10 30 oh I, let, me, let me move it here a little bit let me start that over again it just just to give it even a little bit of an extra heads up just because of the fact that it's moving so so fast and they just um, popped another one back on that Fayette Montgomery yeah they did they did yeah this is I mean it it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting the fact that uh, that's an area that's been worked worked over, over. normally <laughs> you'd be like okay you're it's, done it's done yeah so there um, it is just popped up so yeah i mean if you if you live in um the christman area garland redmond sergeant the hume area metcalf ridge farm georgetown technically is on the northern edge of that warning uh into vermilion county uh with the woodyard area scotland burlett's creek Edgar, Wetzel, and then we've got a severe thunderstorm warning that goes around it um, for the tornado possible tag with that one, and that one goes until 11:15. So, um, you know, we're still going to be looking at this to be impacting locations in central Illinois for at least the next 45 minutes, uh, despite the fact that it's moving as fast as it is. But that tornado warning back off to our back off to our southwest um, again is just. For yep. December 10th, it just shows you that you know we were we were worried about the setup for tonight. Um, our temperatures right now are still extremely mild, and so there's just plenty of plenty of ingredients to work with. Uh, and it's it's 65 right now in Effingham, so they that warning that's in uh, Fayette and Montgomery County could very well go over the same counties that we've just been talking about already tonight. All right, uh, here we go. Uh, we've got uh, still a tornado warning here. We had that that brief little ramp up of velocity that showed a tornado debris signature that occurred there near Oakland again. That's now off here toward between the Brockton and Redmond area now, where we've still got some rotation in there. It's a little tougher to see. We've lost the tornado debris signature. The, so that would maybe mean that maybe we had a brief little touchdown there. Let's just kind of back it up. Okay, so there it is. Okay. So we're looking, as we mentioned, right here. Now watch that blue area explode. You're going to see it. There it is in that little pixel right there. But then the next one, boom, you're getting more of it and really ramping up there on the southeast side of Oakland, north and east of Oakland as it crossed over uh, Highway 133. And then right there between Brockton and Borton, we're kind of losing it now. So we're not seeing as much of that. So possibly lifted, but do not let your guard down. Hume to Christman because this thing could ramp up once again. We've seen this so many times tonight. Uh, we see a tornado, we see a tornado debris signature. We see strong velocity. We see the storm collapse. And then at about 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, it's ramped back up again and another tornado is spawned. So Ridge Farm, Christman, you guys do not let your guard down here, okay? And, the, and there's also the fact too, Kevin, that, um, you know, um, we're getting good looks with our debris tracker because it unfortunately hit a structure or a town. You know, the storm may actually still be putting our tornado down on the ground for a little bit longer than what we may, we may actually know if in fact, um, but it may not be hitting anything. And so that's why sometimes we'll get a good view with our debris tracker, other times we may not. Um, and that's just because of the fact that um, the debris tracker is only useful really if it's hitting something, if a tornado is hitting something. And unfortunately we've had it hit numerous things over the course of the evening tonight, but uh, still just because the debris tracker may not look exactly as good as it did before does not mean that there's not a tornado on the ground. We still have this as observed and we need to be taking this with extra precautions tonight. Okay, uh, Jack, still tracking our storms here. As you can see, uh, we've still got tornado warnings that are in effect. Put a little bit of a loop on this where you can kind of see, you know, the movement of all of this. I know you you may be up here in Rossville and Hoopston and say, hey, it's storming pretty good. Danville, storm's coming in. You don't have any warnings, uh, or actually, do you? Let's see here. Oh, yeah, you got uh, still that severe thunderstorm warning. Actually, that just dropped. Or, just, or did they just repop that? 
Yeah, so there's a severe thunderstorm warning up there in, or is there not? <laughs> As it gets hard when you've got so much overlap. So many, there's so many overlaps here. So, okay, yeah. so, so I guess what, the only two warnings we have, because okay, we've got the two tornado warnings, and then we've got uh, the, the handful of those severe thunderstorm warnings still. Um, we're getting some more reports of you know, some possible damage there in the uh, Mattoon area. Is, has Jacob come across um, anything else there in Gaze? I'm going to check in there with him. Um, Jacob, we're getting some reports of possibly a house in Mattoon that may have got hit. Um, I, I want you to obviously exhaust all efforts there that you have there in, in the Gaze area uh, with uh, you know checking out any debris, but uh, possibly a, a house in Mattoon there along, I believe it was 900 North and 33rd. Yeah, I think that's what that was. Yeah, uh, so that would be on the northwest side of Mattoon along 121. Um, there on the northwest side, that'd be over there by the Riddle Elementary School, kind of north of that. Um, so let us know what you're seeing over there right now, Jacob. Yeah, we've got the fire department out here in Gaze, and they are going to do a search and rescue. The rain's still coming down. It's going to hamper things here to figure out what kind of damage has happened. It looks like that house I was at earlier, uh, the one where the couch was sitting in the, the road, it looks like they've left there, but they're still driving through parts of town. I just put that, um, that address in my GPS. That's six miles away from me. And about two or three miles to the west of Gaze, we had damage on the road crossing the highway. This may have been a tornado that was on the ground for 10 miles or so as it moved through the area. So we're going to backtrack to the west towards Gaze. I'll head to Mattoon in a little bit, but I want to check some more of the damage. It looked like it may have been a little worse coming into Gaze. And I see a lot of lights over there now. We're kind of navigating through some of these country areas uh, to figure things out. But of course, power out in the area. If the, the most important thing I think I can say at this time for search and rescue efforts at this point is if you are wanting to looky-loo, there will be another day for that. Let the first responders find the damage and get to the scenes here. And we're helping relay reports to them to, as well as to the National Weather Service to confirm things here. Um, but just stay home tonight, let them do their job. Tomorrow will come and there will be time to clean up some of these tornado hit areas in the region as we uh, move on forth. So we're gonna keep watching in the Gaze area. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit more towards Windsor. And uh, then uh, if we get more updates from north of Mattoon, uh, again, that's about six miles away. So this was a fairly longer track tornado compared to what we've seen through most of this year uh, and potentially a stronger one given that debris signature of course national weather service will have their hands full in this area and off towards oakland as well based on radar uh, in the coming days we're going to send it back to you in the studio i'm meteorologist jacob dickey in the gaze area surveying some of the damage uh, back to you kevin and jack all right, uh, thanks a lot, uh, yeah. Jack. Uh, wow, a busy, busy night here. And I just want to, I'm going to click on some of these uh, actual, you know, reports here uh, that we got. Um, the tornado, gaze, trees down, power poles bent along Route 16, northeast of Windsor. Um, they said silos blown down, houses damaged between Windsor and gaze. And then the other report uh, that we actually did receive um, was another one over there towards uh, the Mattoon area where, again, I believe that was the, the semi that was blown over there. We'll click on that one. And that was at the um, the Rural King Distribution yeah, Center. That's right. That's right. And so if you, if you want to, what you can do is those are two areas of damage. Okay. Oh, it looks like they just popped up an, another... It's, I mean, it's okay, here we go. Hold on. There's this is a new report that this, this literally just popped up on our screen. Let's read what it says. A machine shed was destroyed. And numerous power lines were blown down near 800 North and 200 East. That is going to be there on the northwest side of Mattoon there as well. So what I was just getting ready to do, uh, Jack, was if you just kind of draw out a line um, from Windsor through Gaze to the northwest side where these other reports... There's You're looking. Track. There's your track right yeah, there. Yeah. Probably of, of 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 the tornado. So what are we? Uh, you know, what are we looking at here, um, distance-wise? If we did that, we can. Let's do it with this one right here. Okay. You're looking at, like you said, maybe 10 or 11 10, miles. Yeah. Yeah. 10 or 11 mile track there, possibly there, from uh, between Windsor and Gaze, and so. And that was moving at 
80 miles an hour at that point. So it covered that covered that very quick. Um, we've also have, uh, you know, we still do have that tornado warning that's out there. Um, it is still a confirmed tornado um, warning, and it's near the Hume area. Well, now it would be uh, off to the east of there. Now it's really approaching uh, 150 uh, yeah. very quickly because it's again uh, the warning so has it for going 70 miles an hour. Strong storm between Ridge Farm Christman uh, showing maybe uh, maybe some some hail in there. That obviously what's amazing is is you know what Jack um, uh, you know tonight we've either had heavy rain, a lot of lightning. Or tornadoes. Yeah, we have not had any other like real wind damage. You know, like we think these the damage we have had has been we've when we've had tornadoes tonight. Yeah, yeah. And um, typically that's you know you have more hail reports and more wind damage reports. We have more tornado reports than anything else. Than anything else. And um, you know we were kind of worried about that in the days leading up to this event just because of the way the atmosphere is coming together. There was definitely tons of shear that we could be working with. And, um, you know, we, again, we'll talk about it here in just a moment, but we still do have that tornado warning and severe thunderstorm warning for portions of uh, Fayette and Montgomery counties. And with that, uh, you know, we still are, again, talking about an area that has been worked over, but it's obviously not been worked over enough to not support more strong storms because uh, we're still gonna be dealing with that uh, here. So that's why we've got that. That one goes until 11:15 with severe thunderstorm warnings kind of surrounding that until 11.15 too. All right, so um, northwest side of Mattoon, um, Dickie, uh, Jacob's gonna head there and we're getting reports now that that house is severely damaged with people trapped inside, or at one point we're trapped inside, rescue ongoing. Um, we just got that report in, this was from earlier, three miles northwest of Mattoon, emergency manager reported tornado house severely damaged with people trapped inside. We're just gonna kinda come back over here, that's gonna be, that's gonna be this other report. So we've got this, um, yep. so these are your, these are the two reports here that we've got and I'm gonna click on this other one here because I think that's the new one that just came in. And it did, yeah. like we were saying, it was gonna pass mainly just to the northeast, northwest of, um, of Mattoon. So that's gonna be on that side of town. So again, according to the, uh, where that icon is, it's somewhere along 1000 County Road, 1000 North and 400 East or 33rd Street. We talked about that 33rd Street uh, uh, there uh, going north, uh, which turns into 400 East on the northwest side of Mattoon. Uh, we talked about 121 there between Allenville and Mattoon. We said there's going to be a tornado there and it uh, looks like we've got multiple reports of damage on the northwest side of Mattoon. Uh, Jacob is going to be heading there, possibly people trapped. Um, in the house there, that's coming from the emergency manager. So we've got, so uh, we're going to be checking in with uh, Jacob here. He's going to be on location in about eight minutes, he tells us. So we'll, we'll see that. Uh, let's go back to this other storm here, Jack, that we've been, you know, yeah, it's, it's the second a, one. It's a Boeing segment. So um, with some of these Boeing segments, uh, you can potentially have these go on for a little bit longer. Sometimes the bug segments can have a bit of a longer track, but uh, the caffeine area, you know, that had been showing up on a lot of our uh, warnings, the Ramsey area too, you know, that was what, in, an hour ago when we were name dropping those locations? So, I mean, it's not that far behind. So there is with these kind of line segments, these Boeing segments, you can get at times a little bit of a, a brief spin up tornado. This would probably not look as impressive on our velocity as what the other storms did, but we still do have a little bit here and there of some indentations within a line of stronger winds. And along that, you can typically get some sort of rotation that can pop up at times. Okay, so um, we've still got those storms here that we're watching. Uh, still the tornado warned storm here between Georgetown and Ridge Farm. Got to be crossing over to Indiana here before too long, and then we will be rid of that cell finally. Yeah. I, I think that is the one that we've been watching. That's what? 
It's a long track. Since, since St. Louis here. Yeah. Um, other little individual cells that are still kind of out there, severe thunderstorm warnings with them, Ashmore, Charleston, Mattoon, uh, back towards uh, north of Neoga. All of those have severe thunderstorm warnings, but yes, we're still watching this cell here, or this little line segment, I should say. I'm going to put the loop on it so you can kind of see the direction it's going to the north and east, going to cross 51 again, possibly move over some areas that, that were hit by the tornado. You guys are going to get, you know, some heavy rainfall and a lot of lightning here again soon. So um, if you're out there, you know, trying to pick up damage, you know somebody's out there, do it, just let them know. Listen, I, we don't want, you know, to turn this into an even worse situation, somebody getting struck by lightning because they're outside and not realizing that there's another line that's going to come through. But, you know, look at all the lightning with this storm back here. This eventually could kind of come down the same you know, area. We were talking towards Herrick and Calden and, and whatnot. Um, and then that uh, storm that's there near Gaze, there are some lightning strikes there as well. So just still please be careful um, if we're out there tonight. Uh, but these storms out here, we've had a time. Uh, so I'm reading some of the comments here. Uh, somebody said that they're in Mattoon. The people that were in the house, uh, they, they got them out. Oh, that's good. They got the people out of the house. Um, so that's definitely some good news here. Let me kind of kind of back this up. I don't kind of reset everything here. And what's what's uh, just interesting to note is that uh, normally when we have these lines of storms, these lines of storms are usually along a cold front. That is not the case right now. The cold front is still way off to our west. And so that's why even spots that are still worked over with some what we normally would call rain cool there, they've not cooled down at all. Um, you're still in the lower to middle 60s out there. So it is not exactly going to be a drastic drop off of the temperatures just yet. Once the storms pass you by, the cold front has not passed you by. Uh, we've got actually um, snow showers being seen in the back side of that one. I'll turn on different radar um, back across uh, portions of western Iowa. So this is a huge low pressure center with multiple facets with it and due to its track we've been dealing with the severe weather aspect with it as we've gone through the evening hours. Um, but uh, this line segment that's coming in out of St. Louis, this Boeing segment, going to have some strong wind gusts with it and the leading edge is the one that we're going to be kind of watching out for for maybe the chance of a brief little spin-up tornado that sometimes can happen. Uh, got a bunch of people asking about Vermilion County in Edgar County with the storms. And that's, you know, there's a large severe thunderstorm warning for those counties, and it does still have the tornado possible tag along with that one too. Um, in the Danville area, you've got uh, an area of higher reflectivity right over Danville. Turn the lightning on. You're gonna have a lightning strikes, mainly with the warnings with them, with the tornado warnings, because that's kind of almost trying to bow itself out there too. Uh, might be transitioning more to more of a wind threat once it goes into Indiana. Um, but again, that's going to be still kind of keeping an eye out with those uh, little cells that are at Paris, then back to the Kansas area, and then still over the Charleston Mattoon area. In fact, um, right over just south of Mattoon right now, uh, we've got a uh, near the Paradise area, we do have an area of some higher reflectivity too. So that's also uh, showing some strength there too. Turning on our velocity, in terms of uh, our rotation, we're kind of losing it a bit more, which is good. Uh, we're a little far away from the, the radar at that point, so it's going to be a little bit tougher to see. Um, I'll turn on the uh, Indianapolis one to see if that one would make it a little bit better. Um, but even still, though, uh, we are looking at uh, things to still have that spin and that rotation. And so we turn on the uh, velocity from Indianapolis. There still is some rotation there, and that's why the warning still does remain. Kind of right over the Christman area, too, is where that's being located right now. And we'll turn on our debris tracker, and I'll have to re-switch it back over to Indianapolis, and we'll see if we have anything there with that. Um, not as much, no, which is good. Storming pretty good there in uh, the Danville area. We can take... Uh... Actually... We may have actually had a new debris um, just off to the east of the Ridge Farm area, the Woodyard and the Ridge Farm area. Check this out on Max 1, Kevin. We've got... Um, oh, yeah, what do we got there? Yeah, we got... I think we might have something there, too. Let's see if that... Does that all co-locate together? Or, let's see. We'll have to... Yeah, that definitely that definitely just kind of kind yeah. of popped up. I'm, I'm gonna and then the, curious to see if it stays there. We got a tornado warning that goes into Indiana, so they may be picking up on that one, too. Yeah, you might be right. Um, it's an interesting little area there. 
Let's see. They're possibly, they're possibly uh, there in the Ridge Farm area. Yeah. It's definitely not out of the question. Yeah, based on how things have been tonight, um, but we may have seen, we may have something there on the ground there too. Okay. Um, here we'll come back over to. Uh, well, let's see, we've got Jacob coming up upon something right now. He's probably coming in there. Uh, he's probably going to be getting close to Mattoon. Um, we'll let him get in position, and we'll come back to him here when he's got, uh, you know, some some news to follow along here with us. But obviously, looks like some damage. Uh, power pole, tree, what do we got there? Or just maybe some emergency vehicles blocking things off. I know he's he's driving right now. He's got to, you know, I'll have to get out and, um, you know, talk. Ask him. Around. Ask him, yep. you know, hey, you know. So uh, let's just come back. Uh, can you bring me back to Max 2? Let's take Max 2. Uh, so there's, hey, there's Jacob out there. Uh, Jacob, uh, go ahead. Hey, Kevin, I wanted to let you know uh, we're about a mile or so to the north and west of the Rural King Distribution Center here. And what I've noticed is we're looking up the highway as you head to the north and west towards, uh, I believe, it's Sullivan. There's some big power lines that are down right here. There's some high tension lines that run here to the uh, northwest side of Mattoon. Fire department has this blocked off. We can also see some tree damage. The interesting thing I've noticed now that the rain has stopped and crews are getting out, there's a solid line in the distance of emergency vehicles from over by Gaze to the north and west of Mattoon here and off towards, uh, I think it's near the Dorans community in that general direction. So there's been quite a bit of damage in this area. They're still assessing the scene. We're going to head to that other house, which I could see rescue crews over there working on now. Uh, but this was a very close call for Matt to in Charleston. I want to mention that. I mean, I could see the town right there. Uh, if we had moved this a mile further to the south, you would have had this right down the middle of Gaze and right into the heart of Mattoon. Uh, it could have been a much different scene. Still, though, for many tonight, there's plenty of hurt, uh, plenty of damage, and there'll be plenty of cleanup to days to come. The highway is blocked here. A lot of these roads are, and uh, we continue to see some of those power lines down here. Lots of sheet metal, lots of trees down, quite a bit of damage. The, the nighttime really will mask that. And I think by tomorrow, Kevin, you'll probably be down in these areas with your drone, giving us an overhead view of the damage in that path that came on through here. Uh, we're gonna keep looking through the night tonight and bringing you updates from Coles County and potentially off to the north and east. In the meantime, just to the northwest of Mattoon here, I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. We'll send it back to you. All right, Jacob, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, continue to let us know what you're seeing down there. Um, there has been damage uh, tonight, okay? There, there has been damage. We've not heard of any injuries here locally, right here locally in our area. But I, I want to make mention of something that's happening in down near Edwardsville at an Amazon facility down there where there are multiple reports of, of a lot of people uh, that have been injured um, and were trapped after a building collapse. Uh, as the storms rolled through down there, that's down closer to the St. Louis area, Edwardsville. You're going to be hearing a lot about that um, on, on the news over the next few days. Um, Amazon Distribution Center uh, down there took a, a very hard hit to some storms down there, probably a tornado. Um, whether it was or not doesn't really matter right now, but they got hit very, very hard, it looks like. So uh, that is, you know, fortunately, you know, here locally in our area, we have not heard of any, you know, major injuries or anything, but, but this, this, things are still new here. They're still going around checking, you know, people in places there in Gaze and, and there in Mattoon. Some people were trapped in Mattoon at the house there. Uh, we did reports of that. We didn't hear of any injuries from that. Uh, and hopefully that is the case and nothing else comes out here. But um, let's, I want to go back to this storm here that, that we were looking at that was in Ridge Farm. And, and Jack uh, pointed it out there. And he was absolutely right. There, there was a correlation, uh, co the TDS dropout that occurred. Yeah. Um, you can see there was nothing there. And it was there for more than one scan. So, so there it was, you know, there it was again, and then we kind of lost it. But it was there for a couple of scans, um, and then it went, it went into Indiana. Um, so there was maybe a little bit of rotation in there. Could have been a weak little spin-up tornado uh, that hit there on the um, in the ridge from area. If anybody's got any reports of that, you can let us know. Uh, let's see here. Things you know, calming down a little bit. Yeah, we still we still have we still have some warnings out there, um, and. You know, we still have that Boeing segment that is now getting into now Western Shelby County 
It's in southeastern Christian County, uh, and there still is a tornado warning uh, for northern Fayette County, the Ramsey area, for spots that, you know, we just were talking about um, like an hour, hour and a half ago. Um, and these, with the Boeing segments, you're going to have some stronger winds. So this one might actually be kind of more of our first indication of some stronger straight line winds over a wider area. That severe thunderstorm warning with that one does go until 1115 for 70 mile per hour winds. Um, it also still though does have the tornado possible threat and also a considerable damage threat with that one too as a tag. And that one is the one that is for Fayette and Montgomery counties heading through the Ramsey area getting towards the Vandalia area right now crossing over Highway 51 a little bit ago and uh, we'll be looking at uh, the Carson area right now. All right, um, very good. So we're going to track that. We've been tracking the damage. Uh, we had the report earlier of a semi that was blown over uh, there north and west of Mattoon, and I believe that is where Jacob Dickey, what he's coming upon right now, is that blown over semi. Jacob, what do you got? Yeah, we're here now just a little bit to the east of the Rural King Distribution Center in town. There's a curve here. It looked like the semi was moving eastward into town. And what happened was then it got blown over this way. That would have been those rear flank downdraft winds wrapping in here. We saw some other minor damage. About a mile and a half to the north is where that house was destroyed. Right now, the semi is blocking my way there, so I have to find another way. And I can't go back to the north and west here. I may have to zip into Mattoon a little bit more to get up there. But very clearly now there's crews, they're getting ready to pull it up right now. And I'll, I'll move out of the way so you can see that here uh, as we continue to watch. One thing that catches my eye, Kevin, as I look at the camera back to the south and west, I'm seeing a lot of lightning down there. And that concerns me, especially for these first responders that are in this area. Some of Mattoon is out of power. We saw some of those power outages in the area. Other areas do have it. So we got to watch this next storm, and there's quite a bit of lightning with that. Uh, so we're going to move and uh, go check some other places out here in the northwest side of Mattoon, try and get to that house. I can see where the first responders are, uh, where that house was reportedly damaged. So we're going to try and sneak through town and see if we can't get back over there. Uh, other things to mention is, while, yes, the damage here, this is just one spot. There's other places, that Amazon facility, uh, down towards the south and west in parts of Fayette County, as well as here, potentially over towards Oakland, Ridge Farm. It's going to take a couple of days to go through all of the damage, but more than likely, you're right. What we saw here in the field, it's tornado damage, and uh, we'll end up seeing potentially several tornadoes, a couple of which could be strong, confirmed from this by the National Weather Service. They'll have their hands full in the coming days. Our news team will have their hands full in the coming days as well. Reporting here in the northwest side of Mattoon, we're keeping an eye to the south and west as well. I'm going to send it back to you guys. Jacob, great job. Thank you so much uh, getting us those reports out there tonight. Here's what I want to. Wow, look at that lightning. You were right. Look at that right on cue. Those first responders definitely, and they're down there, and I know they're, <laughs> they've got those uh, storms. I just want to show this lightning again here real quick because they've still got some, some lightning strikes around there, so definitely be careful over there, guys. Um, but that next line is coming in here from the north and west, okay? There's lightning with that, and that's a Boeing segment there. Um, there's severe thunderstorm warnings. Here's what I want to do here before I hand it over uh, to Jack. I want to tell people that are watching us in Iroquois County, in Ford County, in Champaign County, you're all clear. Pyatt County, uh, Moultrie County. Um, yeah, we'll hold off on the Moultrie County. Just, we'll watch that little edge come through there. Uh, but Macon, so Springfield, Decatur, Lincoln, Clinton, um, Iliopolis, Taylorville, you guys are all good. Uh, we're going to be done with the severe weather with you guys, but we're still going to watch this down here. So it's still basically Shelby County. Or we're going to watch into Effingham County, back into Cumberland and Coles. Still Edgar County here with the storms. And maybe even we'll, we'll, we'll say maybe Eastern Vermilion County there. But there are a lot of you tonight that you're going to be in the clear of things. But we're still watching that, and there's still a lot of lightning on that southern storm there, Jack, and we'll watch that and, yeah. and see those storms that are going into Indiana now. That's the thing. We've got uh, things kind of cleaning up here with our radar. Um, we have our severe thunderstorm warning that still goes until 11.15, so the next 20 minutes for Edgar and Vermilion counties. Um, the tornado warning, 
that we've been tracking. That cell that has produced all these tornado reports and the confirmed damage is now into Indiana. So the cell itself is over into Indiana now. It's crossed the line. Uh, we still do have a um, tornado possible tag with our severe thunderstorm warning that remains again for Edgar and Vermillion counties just because some of these little cells still have the possibility to produce some spin with them and uh, could drop a very brief little spin up tornado. But the cell that has what we're going to probably call a, you know, a long track supercell thunderstorm that produced all these tornado reports um, that has now moved off into Indiana now. So that's still continue to move off to the northeast. But, uh, you know, it wasn't that long ago when it was coming out of St. Louis. So we had been really talking about the overall um, strength in the atmosphere for some of these storms to develop and to develop and move very fast. Uh, the atmosphere definitely did support some very fast moving storms tonight as exhibited by the fact that uh, we had some tornado warnings that were for 80 mile per hour movement on the ground and that would just uh, mean that the winds themselves will be even stronger. Kevin, back to you. All right, um, so the tornado watch uh, continues to get kind of trimmed back here and will probably continue to do so. But you already mentioned how, you know, you're all clear in Monticello and Decatur and, and Springfield and Lincoln and, and Taylorville. You're all good, but we're still kind of watching this kind of southern end of things here. And it's still technically kind of southern, you know, Champaign-Vermilion County here because of that line of storms is still coming through. But there are, are so many areas here that really can be in the clear because um, we're just not seeing uh, as much going on. But uh, listen, we got to watch this line. Yeah. I mean, there's there's still a lot of lightning along that uh, uh, line there, and there's Calden. Let's see what the, the winds are doing with that. And they put a new warning out for it. Oh, did they? So, oh, yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh, yep. okay, so go it goes for, goes for Coles, Cumberland, Effingham, and Shelby counties, uh, and that one does go until 1145 tonight. Still for 60 mile per hour winds, the hail, not really much of a concern. The nice thing, though, is that this is for a severe thunderstorm warning, so there's no tornado possible tag with it, unlike the one that's still left over for Edgar and Vermillion counties. So that's some good news there. There is still the tornado warning with it, with that Boeing segment, but um, if they were concerned a bit more, they would have put the tornado warning or the tornado possible tag with that within the severe thunderstorm warning, and they have not done that. So that's some good news there. We can still get some widespread very strong winds and straight line wind damage, which in some times can actually end up being worse than tornadoes because our tornadoes usually are very small, very localized, but you get an area that has a large swath of strong winds that will do a lot of damage over a wider area. But we'll keep an eye on things with that one because as of right now, that is our tail end Charlie. And it again has um, nothing down to the south the thing that's interesting about it, though, is that it is moving over air that has been worked over, and it's been worked over not that long ago either. These storms that, uh, the supercell thunderstorm that produced all those tornado reports, it wasn't that long ago when it was over this same location. So um, we'll see how this goes with it, but a line segment like this, the Boeing segment, is going to be a little bit different than the actual supercell thunderstorm with the tight rotation that it had before. It'll be a little bit different, so we'll keep on watching it. And, uh, you know, we've got a number of hours still, we're thinking, before we're all in the clear. Some of you, though, are in the clear as of now, which is at least good yeah. to hear. I, and, and I got a lot of people asking about Danville, and we got, we got a lot of great, awesome fans and yeah, followers Danville. watching that yep. in Vermillion County and Danville. Saw a lot of you out at the Christmas parade, um, and a lot of people asking, are we, are we in the clear? You, you pretty much are here. You're technically still under that warning that's going to get lifted here, but uh, it looks like you're going to be okay here, um, and then that would even include Champaign County. This was an interesting report we got in. A hundred, or not a hundred, I'm sorry, uh, 65 mile per hour wind gust that occurred in Sydney, in Sydney, in southern Champaign County. At 1016, yes, that was when stuff was coming through. Um... So some strong winds there. Haven't heard reports of any damage or anything, uh, but 65 hour, five mile per hour winds there. Um, still obviously very strong. Um, still a strong line here that we're tracking here that's coming through the uh, Calden area, and it's going to skirt right there through Shelbyville and eventually towards Neoga. And if that thing, you know, kind of keeps on track, it could, you know, kind of come up towards Windsor and uh, Gaze. Um, I, I want, can we show some video here earlier in near gaze we had of some power flashes that uh, did occur um jacob was out there tracking and you can see did you see it there off in the distance see him you're gonna see this green kind of flash uh, that's that's there it's gonna be kind of it'll be small there but it's off in the distance and if we uh, re-rack it um if we can do that again from the top 
you're going to see it there. There it was. Do you see it? It was on the left, kind of center part of your screen. Those were the power flashes indicating uh, where the tornado was. This was right when he was coming upon some of the debris um, there. But you see, just ahead of him would have been where the tornado is. And... That's where he was, where the damage was occurring, just there kind of on the north side of Giz. This was earlier tonight when we were right on that storm. And, and we and listen, um, he, he, he was right there with it, right, right behind it. And, yep. and he said, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we're, we're done with, with this storm yet. And sure enough, boom, that next radar scan. And we said, there's, there's some velocity. There, there it is again. See the power flash uh, that occurred? Um, you could definitely see it on that one right there. Um, very bright there on the left. You get that green. It's a green. If you've ever seen a transformer blow, it's got um, an eerie kind of greenish uh, color to it a lot of times. And uh, that's what we were seeing. And that's what we have to use at nighttime because you can't see these things a lot of times. Uh, tornadoes at night, very difficult to see. But that's the damage. So the tornado would have passed right in front of him, okay? And that's this was earlier as he was coming across. And you'll see more of those power flashes every now and again. Um, but that's, you can see some of the, you know, possibly, oh, um, some of the debris, some of the uh, insulation, um, possibly. And so this was earlier, this was just video of some of the damage. This is kind of on the outskirts there between Windsor and Gaze. And those are power flashes again. So um, Jacob is now, uh, well, he was, he was coming into the Mattoon area. Um, we're going to be checking in with him here in just a little bit uh, to see where uh, he's at. Um, but we just want to come back to the radar here real quick, kind of show you what's going on. Um, Jacob's actually going to try to make his way down to Oakland, don't we're being told, to see if he can uh, find some damage down there. And we got a new tornado warning for Fayette County. Oh, okay. Uh, he, okay, so we're going to let, let us talk about this uh, new tornado warning here real quick, Jack. Yeah, we got a new tornado warning um, for Fayette County. We've got it as radar indicated still, uh, moving to the east at 65 miles an hour. And um, this one would be, you know, the, the tornado warning is technically a little farther south than the one earlier on. Um, so this is definitely kind of more impacting the... Uh, the Vandalia area, but we've got it um, located over the Mulberry Grove area, moving into the Fayette County area, off to the moving to the east at 65 miles an hour. So this is going to be another fast mover. It's basically on the highway right now, um, so it's going to be crossing over into Fayette County here very quickly, and it'll be moving through the area very quickly thanks to its speed of 65 miles an hour. Um, they're kind of cleaning up some of our warnings too we've lost the warnings for vermilion and um edgar counties so that's all good there so really just watching these southern storms that boeing segment now for the severe thunderstorm and the tornado warnings that we do have but we can go to jacob when you're ready to go kevin